morning guys um, we were just discussing something and we wanted to bring it to you guys um, and it has to do with living in, in small towns so um, I was I was thinking it, it sort of struck me this morning that we get a lot of people contacting us about different properties obviously and touring and towns and Italy and one of the things that comes up is um, where, where to live as in what kind of town to live in and we li obviously live in a small town a town of about 1400 people and we look at properties in towns of 35,000 10,000 5,000 300 and and we've got a, actually we've got a good friend who's from England or he's become a good friend and he lives in a town of 280 Ciao, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, Roberto or Robert and Adam Roberto and Adamo <laughs> I don't know Adamo um, and they live in a town of um, about 280 people I think maybe even less depends on the day <laughs> um, so this morning it struck me that what why don't we talk about the benefits of living in a small town and we can speak from our experience because we have two houses in two different towns in two different regions one of the regions is Abruzzo and that town is Abateggio. Uh, Abateggio has a very small population. 300 to 400? Yeah, 300 to 400. However, we have, not li we have not lived there permanently. We've lived there on a part-time basis. And now we've lived in this town for, I don't know, a year and a half, perhaps. Um, and so I guess we can speak um, more confidently about this town. I want to talk about the positives of, of this and not, and not bring any negatives because, well, first of all, there's not really many, but... And you'll find them in, anywhere, everywhere. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, you're going to find positives and negatives everywhere, but some, some of the positives um, that I find about living in this town are... It's just the the sense of community the tranquility of being here the sense of ownership um, and not just owning the house but the sense of ownership in the town of what happens in the town of like how you can shape what happens in the, the town yeah yeah I mean you feel obviously we're quite new here so we don't have a lot of influence or we haven't done a lot of things oh, I was looking over there and I should be looking there <laughs> I always look in the wrong place I'm like <laughs> so um, obviously yeah we haven't done a lot but we've seen just from the things that we do and the things that people do in town how if you have an idea the impact. yeah the impact you can have if you have an idea or you have a sense of purpose in wanting to do something and that is lost in translation when you live in, in a big town I mean we, we come from we lived in cities of millions of people and here you have a sense of not 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 just not just belonging but you have a sense of um, almost purpose you feel you you can get perspective of see to see where you where you're at where you belong and where other people are and you lose that perspective when you live in a in a larger town sorry and you also feel a sense of responsibility yeah which is also lost in the bigger city oh, like yeah, the, the responsibility is for someone else for elected officials or for bigger groups or yeah like that's someone else's job oh, yeah. I, and you don't you start to not, you don't even think about those things anymore because oh, I, I i i live in sydney and uh, I live in a suburb of Sydney. I live in Leichhardt, 
and I um, I live on this street. And what goes on in Leichhardt, I have no control over because there's a there's a there's officials, elected officials, and I have, you know, and there's too many people in Leichhardt, and and what can I do anyway? And then, and then there's the bigger picture, which is Sydney, and what influence would you have over Sydney? <laughs> Zero, like, you unless you're a billionaire. Turn a ten piece to a twenty quick. I got money busting out the money clip. And you live in Sydney, and then perhaps you have influence, but. You're not, but here you feel you feel like a billionaire. I feel like everybody has the influence of a billionaire in these in these towns, and that's that's a that's a beautiful thing. And I don't I don't know if that can be um, if if I can emphasize how how great that is. So then I feel there's other. Other things which are which make this this town or living in small towns great is that you have everything at your fingertip. So you may not have a lot of things, and we we talk about this all the time about bars. You know, okay, so we, there's two bars in our town. Um, there was three, but one of them turned into um, supermarket a supermarket slash butcher. butcher. Okay, which is good as well. Now. When there were three bars, we went to, we tried all of them, and we like to share. You know, we don't we don't like to buy, be biased and say, oh, no, we're only going to go to the, that place. And um, but when we first came here, we tried the three bars, and we still go to um, the other bar, which we call, but mainly we go to our favourite bar, and. We were talking about that the other day. It's like, okay, if you lived in Manhattan and you live in a neighborhood in Manhattan, so you might live in the Upper West Side and you're going to um, go and get your coffee. So when you first live or when you first move to the Upper West Side, you might try 10 coffee places. 20 even, whatever the number of places in, in your area or your walking distance. But most likely, once you find the place that you like, you're going to go to that bar every day, or that, that cafe, sorry. Um, I'm thinking in Italian now. <laughs> um, so you're going to go to that cafe every day and you're going to have your coffee, uh, or you're going to go to that particular Starbucks or that particular Dunkin' Donuts or, or, or whatever it is. And, and so, really, you have one bar, one cafe. So, the same as what we have here. We have two, but we have our cafe, which is our favourite. And it's the one that we love. Maybe the choice is, has been made for you. Yes. <laughs> but that, that's not a bad thing. As long as it's good, why do you need to have... And this is the thing. Like, people, especially in Australia, people... Um, they want cafes everywhere. They want a cafe in the suburb for breakfast, for brunch. But they always go to the same one, and the other ones that are forgotten are gonna be out of business within a year or within two years, just because people don't go there enough because there is too much choice and not enough people. So yeah, and you can't feel. Uh, you can't avoid these um, this situation where you feel more empathy for the staff in one of the bars, or or that you like the way they make the coffee, or that you like you prefer the way they make you feel. You, you're just gonna you're just gonna look for that as well. Be drawn to to that to familiarity. Yeah. So you may try things for fun at first, but then, as we say, you you end up doing pretty much yeah, the you, same thing. You gravitate. You gravitate mm. to one, and you can only you can only drink one coffee in the morning. I mean, obviously, yeah, you can have fifteen coffees. Well, you can you only want. be at one oh. place at one place at the same time. Yeah. At a given time. At a given time. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so you people see drawbacks of small towns like this, but we have absolutely everything here. Okay, how about we, what we're talking about about driving? Like, mm. um, let's not name names. 
about the town in, in, that we had in question, about the city that we were thinking and that we looked at. But when you compare that particular city, which has, let's say, 20 to 50,000 people, mm -hmm. can we say that? Um, and you will think, okay, you have all this choice and your life is going to be easier because the town is bigger. But then we were comparing it to ours and not necessarily because the bigger the town is, the more you're going to have chains coming in, chains of supermarkets, of shops, and these chains need space. And the space is not inside the town, it's on the outskirts mm -hmm. of the town. Yes. Yeah, especially in these historical towns. So, so that that chain that you're talking about, it, it goes to the outskirts of the town, which spreads the town out. So it forces this this expansion of the town, and then people, then you get apartment complexes being built near those near those um, like services. those services because people or developers are only going to build those where they can sell them and they can sell them if people want to have, uh, want to be able to, or, or sorry, can live next to a supermarket or a, a, and a bar and this and that. So then it spreads out. So living in the, in the part of the town of that larger town where the, in the historical district, for example, you, things start to change because people or services move out of that historical district, go to the, extremities of the town and then if you want to partake in those things you have to travel from there to there so you're and, gonna need a car anyway yeah you're gonna need likely. yeah i mean you will you'll need a car unless you've got all the time in the world and you can just you know mosey on out to the extremities but yeah you're going to need a a, a, a car and so you what position are you in and again, it's the same thing. So if you have a town of 30,000 people and you have 30 bars in that town, most likely you're going to go to the one bar all the time. Um, and then, and then you know, you've got our town of 1,400 people. And as I was saying, like you have everything that you need. So we can get great bread, we can get pastries, we can get coffee. We can specialty get meats specialty from one meats, particular butcher. Yeah, um, standard butcher meats. Um, we can we get our water, so this water, um, which is frizzante or oh, or still Alicia, Alicia um, for five cents for the bottle. Um, and we can walk or drive there. Yeah. When we didn't have a car, we used to have a, what do you call a trolley? Mm. And we will just go with the trolley five minutes there, five minutes back and we'll fill it up. So you yeah. can, you have the option of using your car or not because of the size of the town. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry. Yeah. And then we were talking about the the vicinity. Oh, well, we have a, we have a ferramenta, um, a hardware store. Mm. So, so don't don't equate the small towns with nothing happening, no services. Just take each each small town um, on its own and research what it has to offer. What are you going to need for your everyday life there? And does that town have it? So don't put all these towns on the like on the one blanket rule of of nothing happening, no service there. No services there. Mm. And we were talking about the vicinity to other towns, five minutes yeah. away, ten minutes away. Yeah, we're surrounded by other smaller communities. So we've got one, two, three, maybe four towns, which are which are very close to us. Um, so if we can't get something here, we have a, a very short drive to other towns. And then we have 15 minutes to the beach. I mean, that's just amazing. But we are 15 minutes to Termoli or about 20 minutes to Termoli to get into the center. And, and there we have the choice of everything we need, including cinema, multiple supermarkets, multiple bars, multiple restaurants. It's funny, um, more supermarkets 
and more choice for supermarkets than we had actually in the area of Brisbane. That yeah, we where, we, where we were. And Sydney, where we were. Yeah. And, actually, and less of a drive as well. Yeah. Because when you're going to do your shopping, if it's a big shopping, you don't want to have c- carrying bags, so you're going to have to drive anyway. Yeah, you have to drive. So, for example, our house in, in Brisbane is five kilometers from the city. So it's a suburb of Brisbane and we have one, two, two supermarkets. Yeah, I mean, it's a standard in Australia, Coles and Woolworths. So two supermarkets and, and then maybe a small local one, which is... Usually expensive. Yeah, expensive. like you don't, you don't need to go there for emergencies. So, and then we have we have a, a market, so, so weekly markets on, uh, on Saturdays and Sundays. And there, that's, you know, a drive, quite a drive. But that that's, so basically two supermarkets. But here, for the same, for this, almost the same drive, we have maybe six yeah, supermarkets. Um, and we have a cinema as well, which is, which was a further drive in, in, in Queensland. So, um, I mean, I, I feel there's so many positives and, and then, and then there's the fact that we've met more people and had a better social life and, and busier and busier in, in a year and a half than we had all the time that we were in, in Australia. How, I mean, how can that, and we, we don't even speak fluent Italian. So like, like how, how can that be? You know, like it, it's it doesn't it doesn't make sense. But it's a, it's a different the different cultures. The seasonal weather here in these small towns in our small town is great because we get a winter, we get a summer, we get spring, we get autumn. I love seasons. Um, and I, I've missed seasons since leaving Canberra. I, I grew up in Canberra in Australia, which has beautiful season, seasonal weather. Oh, so, um, yeah, living, I feel like living in, in small towns is, is very, very underrated. There's, a, there's so many more positives to living in small towns. and. If, if you're a person that needs to be around, and it depends on the time of where you are in your life, because I understand that, at some point, I'd like to live in New York. And, you know, that's a complete and utter contrast to where we, where we are here. But it, it, it's not necessarily, there's, there's, not, there's no right or wrong. So where are you in your life? What do you need? Think, you know, it's the same as buying a house. What do you need for that house? And then what do you need to live? Like, do you need to be around thousands of people or, or to be, to walk down the street and see thousands or hundreds of strangers at the same time? Yeah, because the thing, strangers. Because strangers. Sometimes, <laughs> some, some, sometimes uh, is, is someone looking for connection? And if you're looking for connection, then think where you can get it. Because you can be in the middle of a huge city and be connected to no one and have no friends. Because again, you're just a number or you're just another, mm-hmm. yeah, an- another being there. But if you don't really need the connection, but you're more about the buzz of, of, of something and the energy and the busyness, then maybe the bigger town is for you. Yeah. But I don't think the chances of, of getting being connected or, or or having in bigger towns, I think is is more is more complicated. Um, and I think for couples and and I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I feel like yeah, the the, the bigger the town gets, the more isolated people get yeah. to a certain extent. And I mean th- that's a definite thing in Australia, isolation in. In Anglo-Saxon countries, uh, UK, 
America, Australia is, is a big problem. I mean, I, I know from living in different countries, but Australia is, is a big problem. And the mental problems that isolation yeah. creates. Mm. Um, so that, that's just like another topic. But what I was going to say is that people think that for a couple is easier. And they, and they write to us and they say, oh, well, for you guys it's easier because you're a couple, so you make mm. friends easier. And that's usually not no, the that's, case because no. as a couple, you usually are friends with couples and you both have to like that other couple. Yeah. So it's like you, you have two, two layers of approval to, <laughs> <laughs> to get through to create that connection. Yeah, you're be signed off twice. Yeah. But if you are by yourself, maybe you can be more uh, you can be more flexible on mm. on who you befriend and who you want to like. Okay, let's try out with this, you know, this friendship. Yeah. So I guess um, we, in you know, in talking about these things, we, we just wanted to convey a sense of like a positive feeling Since the, that we did the right thing and we're very happy uh, to move here to move to a smaller town because you know we've traveled to many towns since we've been living here we've traveled to many towns looked at many houses in bigger towns and medium towns and big cities but we always come back here and it's like oh, like we feel this this sense of not just belonging but this sense of space and And, and our particular town is, oh, is, is a great position. But there are other smaller towns as well that have this, would have similar benefits or different other benefits and shouldn't, shouldn't sort of just go for the fact that, uh, oh, go to a bigger town because it's got more things, it's got more services, it's got more choices. Like, so these small towns they have more to offer than 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 some of these larger cities and i feel that they need they need to be discovered by you guys and embraced and loved and that is going to change this tide this stupid this stupid direction our society is going to of pushing everybody into these bigger towns like why why would you why would you Why would you want to go and live in Milan or Rome when you can live in Montefoni or Gulianesi or or in a small town in Puglia or or in Abruzzo or, or wherever it is, and your life can be your life can be so much more balanced and so much fulfilled, more fulfilled. Mm. And you know, it's funny because most people have um, the dream or the goal of moving to Italy for simplicity. Mm. Oh, I want a simple life, but then we are still carrying the luggage yeah. of a complicated baggage of the baggage <laughs> yeah. of, of a complicated life yeah oh yes i want to move to italy i want to have a simple life i want to i want to see people riding down the street with their bicycles and, and their basket with flowers and then and baguettes baguettes <laughs> even though it's french and and yet oh but i want to be in a city where there's a starbucks on the corner it's like no this I mean, really, you have to sort yourself out and look at yourself and, and look at, strip everything down and what do you really want and need? And these small towns have everything you need and more. They give you more. They give you so much. They sell prices all the time. Yeah, there's so little that gives you so more. And the big towns or the big cities are have so much but give you so little smoke and mirrors <laughs> yes yeah anyway so th we're going to wrap it up now sorry we maybe went on too long but as always <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you guys have a great day see you ciao ciao Please consider watching this video, I'm sure you'll find it entertaining and informative. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!